Today, we're going to talk about coil reels. Now, before we get into this, we need to handle Y coil. Now, back in the day, we realized that if we could stamp parts, we could have structurally sound pieces that can go on to vehicles or HVAC units or back in the day radiators, anything that casting took too long to do, we could do it with sheet metal. Now, then they had to solve the problem of how are we gonna transport this in sheets, in coils, and it ended up in coils because it's the most efficient way to make a product over time out of the same strip and having the, the least amount of downtime. So when we know coils, now we need to talk coil reels. Some people call them coil mandrels. Some people call them uncoilers. Some call them decoilers. We're gonna call them coil reels today, but just know we're talking about the same thing. On a coil reel, what do you have? You have your coil car where you set your coil and, and the coil track that goes with it. If you don't have a coil car, you will load your coil onto the mandrel itself. The mandrel is what takes the coil, it spears the coil, it expands to contain the inside of that coil, and then it'll unwind that coil. They come in two versions. They come in a pull-off version, and they come in a motorized version. Now in our reels, our pull-off reels will still have a hydraulic motor on it so that you can unwind and thread in certain applications, which then lead us into the next subject, which is the capacities. Some of our, our reels, we have found that with the 4,000 or 2,000 through 8,000 pound reels, that they don't need as much uh, heavy duty containment devices. So we've actually sectioned those off into their own little group. And then there's the 10,000 through 60,000 coil reels. Now those usually are taking the higher tensile, higher thickness, higher yield strength materials that are, that are wider. They go all the way up to 78 inches at our facility and standards and even beyond on some of the custom jobs. One of the last things I want to discuss with you about the coil reel is that we have certain OD and ID ranges. Now if you're new to the industry, you won't know that there are things called mills, there are things called mini mills, and there are things called service centers. All of those have machines at them that dictate your ID, the inner diameter of a coil, which would be touching up against this after it's been expanded, or your OD, which if you can imagine the whole down arm is up, it would be filling the outer diameter of that space, uh, the roll. Um, those come in different sizes. Typically you go all the way up to 72 inches on a master coil, and in some instances, you can go to 78 and 96 inches wide on master coils. Aluminum can get even wider. 